everyone, my name is Earthgui, and welcome to my new Let's Play. And joining me today is... Hello everyone, this is Captain Reginald slash James Man Extreme. And I will be invading Kurt... I will be invading Gui's personal space for this Let's Play. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, I just went to the demo because I had not pressed start yet. And today we're playing Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. So right away we're just gonna start a new file. And I already know co uh, Kirby's copy ability. Yeah, don't we all? And we see Kirby watching the stars, and then all of a sudden something hits him on the back. Twice. Hehehe. <laughs> no, Kirby, don't touch that. You don't know where it's been. Oh, where am I? Why is everything oh, so grassy? Uh, I think I should be the one to do that. <laughs> you didn't ask. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think of it. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just watching the pretty cutscene. Look at her be all sad and junk, and how Kirby's so happy disposition goes all yes, I will help you, and they go mm -hmm. off on another happy, exciting adventure like all other Kirby games. Yep. And so we start off with Popstar, and I think this is the very first Kirby game that actually calls their planet Popstar. In previous games, it's just referred to as Dreamland, but now we got Popstar. Yep. Okay. And Boy, what a, the first what a generic cat-eared enemy. <laughs> and a generic fire enemy, and a generic spike enemy, and, a, and Sir Gibble. Yep. But yeah, this is all just to introduce the, the powers and the enemies. Mm-hmm. A staple of the Kirby franchise. Although in this like game, they do it a lot different. Yep. And yes, I am going to be completing it 100%. Because I have played, th I have played through this enough times to know where each and every crystal shard there is. And here we are in a boss guardian room, and boy, he could not be any easier. Yeah. Oh, good commentary we're having here. I know, right? But yeah, we're uh, just here in let's... Dreamlands. Flaming through everything, and <laughs> this place ought to be a flaming, flaming hellish land by now. I mean, there's running, running flames all over the place, and Poppy Brothers with freaking bombs. And here yep. you are using, going off like a freaking car alarm. Fireworks. <laughs> and yeah, you do need the bomb ability to open up that one spot there for the crystal. So. Poppy <laughs> Excuse me if I quote Kitty Perry here. Baby, you're a firework. I'm sorry, that was bad. Oh, and there's Waddle Dee touching something he does not know that exists or whatever. No, Waddle Dee, don't fall under its influence. You'll go crystal crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Black Doom's gay brother. <laughs> Like, dude, dude, and you okay? And that's the aftermath. And behold, a shoehorned Waddle Doo. Mm hmm. The only Mr. reason. Sir. Yeah, because they couldn't include Waddle Doo as an enemy because Waddle Dee, surprisingly, is an ally in this game. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, that's a spoiler. My bad. Whoopsie. What a Oh, klutz. well, not that much of a spoiler. Well, yeah. Another piece of the crystal meth puzzle. Bye-bye! <laughs> Wait! I want to go, too! Even though I've been possessed by Black Doom's gay brother! <laughs> hey, you helped me out and stuff! Alright, so... Here we get some bonus items, and... I you... completely missed that card, but... I don't but know. But you got a star! I got a star, yeah. You got a does super help. star! And here we go in the quiet forest. Which is being broken by fireworks. You're gonna spam that ability for this entire part, aren't you? Um, as long as I can, uh, as long as I can, um, hold on to it. Yeah. If I don't die. Yeah. A Maxim tomato, a staple in the Kirby franchise. One must wonder what would hap what would happen if you would mix in um, Maximum tomatoes with pizza crust. Yeah, that'd be very interesting. My god, Hal, why haven't you made Maxim Pizza yet? 
That could, <laughs> it could pretty, that could be, the, that could be the surefire thing that'll raise Kirby's health bar or something. Or his maximum tomatoes will give him full health. Pizza, of pizza will give him extra points. Yep. Look. Oh, I didn't mind. And make the game all the more easier. Uh huh. I, I seem to be breezing through now. this. Sorry. What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Um, and there's Waddle D operating some weird contraption set in Dreamland. Mm-hmm. Kind of like one of those. Kind of like one of those ski lifts. Yeah. And yeah, collecting a hundred, or actually not a hundred, fifty of these little stars gives you a one-up. And right down here, another crystal star! That always helps. Ooh, come on, Kirby! Okay, you're good. Yay. Man, the we the one th this the thing, this is the only game, the only game in the Kirby franchise where you do not have unlimited flight. What the hell? Well, I guess they didn't want it to be too easy. The game's easy as it is with this boss rush. Uh-huh. And here we see the only no other human in the Kirby franchise, to my knowledge. Um, I could be forgetting someone, but you know what? Who am I to think of it at the moment? Yeah. I mean, she's pretty much the, the only human we, we see. Yeah. In this game, at least. Oh my god, it's Doom's eye. <laughs> no! No! I do not want to join your black arms! <laughs> Look I shall my stare eyes. into your soul! <laughs> and uh, her name is Adeline, I believe. I'm pretty sure that scene when I first saw it as a child, I'm pretty sure that gave me a nightmare or two for, for some time. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's straight up nightmare fuel. In a Kirby game, no less. Well, then again... Wait, what am I saying? Kirby's all- Kirby's full of nightmare fuel. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's got dark- the dark matter, which is what- Yeah, and that censored piece of magic. Ha! <laughs> I don't know, I don't easily get nightmares from stuff that I see. Well, me neither. I mean, nowadays, I I'm pretty easy with that stuff, and, um... I don't know, as a kid, I'm just like, oh my god, that's creepy! Yeah. Well, yeah, your brain hasn't fully developed yet to to realize it's really not that creepy. It's all just an illusion. Creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Doom's eye would be ashamed. Hehe. <laughs> Easy, boss. Yeah, your powers are nothing against me, little girl. Especially because of my fireworks. Although, for some strange reason. Sometimes, I think as a child, I think I used to confuse Adeline for a guy. Yeah, Kinda she weird, does. Right? She does look very boyish. Yeah. Sure, we'll let you join. Even though you really can't use any offensive, I'm sure we'll find some use for you. Yep. And, yeah. yay, got it! A card that does absolutely nothing pivotal to the plot. Well, of course not. None of those items do. True. And really, there's no plot to be had here. You just get. To... It's it's a, it's as basic as the Mario series. You just yep. have to do something in order to save the day. And here we are in King Dedede's less than stellar castle. Yeah. Which it's... will thankfully get an upgrade a after the anime. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Mhm. Mm I don't know. Couldn't you make, couldn't you make with a dome head on there or something? <laughs> Who knows. Could be, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Eat your heart out, Peach's Castle. <laughs> this is the real shit. Note the sarcasm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, well, I gotta say, this is probably one of. The, I think this is the coolest thing you can do with a 2D game. Make it look like, give off the illusion that really it's a 3D game, but in essence, it's really just a 2D game with in 3D's clothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, the way that everything is shaped out and the, how the camera is, like, in this certain spot, it's... It's a shame that most 2D games with 3D graphics don't really utilize all that much. I yeah. mean... I mean, you do get that now, more so nowadays, but for a while, it's been like, 
it's about as basic as like um, just slapping a 3D model in a 2D setting, it's a la New Super Mario Brothers or Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Yeah. I mean, that stuff's fine and all, but really, this is the this is the real shit. This is the real this is the real meat. Yep. <laughs> Slicing and dicing through umbrella heads and sir keebles and all that stuff. Yep. <laughs> You seem to you seem to know a lot more about this than I do. Yeah. Because truth well, be told, been... this is the only Kirby game I have ever played ever. Not really? even kidding. Oh my I... god, you have a long ways to go, my child. <laughs> a long, long way to go. I mean, okay. many consider th <laughs> what's kind of funny is many consider you people. Many people used to consider this the best Kirby game in the franchise, and to be fair, it certainly holds up in some aspects. I mean. To be, even though the controls are kind of stiff compared to recent titles or even before titles, but um, I think if I were to pick a current favorite in the Kirby franchise by far, believe it or not, it's not Kirby Superstar. It's Return to Dreamland. That is yeah. probably it's probably the one of the best Kirby games to date. It do, it pretty much it doesn't it pretty much takes a concept that was that was all that wasn't broken and they didn't they didn't do they didn't change it too much. They just gave it the right amount to make it a little more nice. Yeah. I mean, four-player co-op with more than just four Kirbys. I mean, you got Meta Knight, Waddle Dee, King Dee Dee Dee. Um, you got all these super abilities, these um, these dark trial-ish things where a wall's constantly chasing you and threatening to smash you. Yeah. You know what? Eat your heart out, Zelda. This is <laughs> Kirby's got the true shit. You know what? I actually meant to get Cutter and Needle, not Fire and Cutter. So, uh... Ah, oh, whatever. I think it'll do justice on DDD. Yeah! Slay, slay the penguin thing. Yeah, the I think it'll... The penguin alien thing. Yeah. yeah, I think it'll reach him. And here we see King DDD all smug and shit, watching over his kingdom like, Ah, oh, I'm gonna smuggle their food someday. When all of a sudden he sees a crystal that Kirby comes for and snatches it like a bastard that he always is. Yep. He's Get just like me, Dee Dee, you know how important it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you just don't know when to quit, do you? Nope. Oh uh, well, we failed we failed all those other times. Let's try it again. There's a reason why this guy is no longer with the black arms. Although he does get shit done, that's for sure. Ow! He get he which got me with this. Which, which says a lot, really. He got me with his hammer. <laughs> <laughs> let, this let looks kind of wrong. <laughs> Watch as I shove this up your derriere. Easy kill. Yep. I feel like I had a stick shoved up my. Oh, where's he going? On an adventure, sire. Want to go? No, I have a kingdom to run. Uh, buzz off! Uh, okay. And then he realized just how lonely he was. Come back! I need love! <laughs> oh, wow. And by love, he means munching on a bunch of chickens. Which uh, is kind of strange considering, well, drumsticks. Yeah. Yeah, he's numbing on drumsticks. Yep. Whatever! <laughs> they have to be made out of something. Uh-huh. And here we see what is often cons what. I would probably consider one of the more intimidating versions of Wispy Woods, as he doesn't follow the same pattern he's always done in previous Kirby games. You just face him on this circle-y plane rather than on a 2D surface. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Which is, which, which is kind of funny because, well, believe it or not, this is the first Kirby game I've ever really played, so this is like the first instance I've known of Wispy Woods. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Now, the most original was also the first one I've ever done, and then later times I'd be like, oh my god, he's gonna keep on this 2D plane? What the hell? <laughs> Just gotta keep the sword there. Fear my fort. Oh, I forgot. I'm allergic to flames. Considering I'm a tree that burns. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, not my four dicks. What? That hurt. Okay, I'm censoring that. <laughs> well, I kind of figured you would. Yeah. Especially the other with the other ones. Whatever. <laughs> really, I don't give much of a crap anymore. 
<laughs> okay. And they go off on another adventure. Eat, forget the warp star. The crystal meth shard is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more meth jokes. Yeah. Well, on to and the next And here we are at Rockstar, and, um, yeah. Yep, I think um, that'll about do it for this part, so this has been Earth Queen. And this has been a desperate asshole known as Captain James Man. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, it's Captain Reginald slash James Man Extreme. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop drinking so much. Oh, God. oh come on, you don't drink. True. Well, uh, yeah, you all know... You you you, <laughs> you know who we are. Bye. So we'll see you guys next time when we take on Rockstar. Bye bye. <laughs>